I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You got the drill. I'll pry it out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. You know, I got you know too close, I almost got caught. Out. You know what? I don't give a okay, shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of meeting us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, you there? Ryan! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. Hey, Ricky. Did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if you didn't tell him where the seats were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Deke, I heard you 
track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. He'll get a chance to tell his side of it. That's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skizza's gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh... Hell, I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Geeking out. You need something? Just looking around. Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. No idea how to fix it. Later, Deke. Are you there? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Same as always. I'm still out there chasing choppers. Yeah. I don't know what the hell is to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stop by. Said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. So.
Whew. Okay. Okay. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. You need something? Having a look. Is that okay? Never go wrong with the tuna. It's me. Let me know if you need anything. I wonder about the freak or something. St. John. This is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. 
That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Open in the gate. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Room. Dad was hanging out. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Good one. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, good to see you. First Let me get the gate for you.
all right. Open up. Hold on a sec. I'll get it. Hold on a sec. I'll get it. How's the work going? I'm having a blast. Love it here. All right. Don't work too hard. This is gonna work. Keep an eye on him. I'm, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. You mean a lot to him. Infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine from anarchy. I figured if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. In my classroom, man. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants were prepared and stored for future calamity didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. Danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities. I use the word teaching very loosely here. When this kid comes in late, he didn't look right. Sort of out of it. Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days, huh? you hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day? What's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Such knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, if you don't trust him, you go with him. But you remember some... Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. 
Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing down black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Told that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. How's it going? Having a look. Is that okay? Don't beat her up too bad. Okay. All right. You need something? going. Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Peeking out. Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. Well, I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. There should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking newts. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. <laughs> Door's locked. You force it open? Nah, it's jammed with something from the inside. Uh, newts? No idea. Gotta find another way in. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it. There we go.
Okay. I got a use for you. Good night. Thanks for asking. <sighs> Can use it there. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, That's but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. These ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There, wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. OK. 
Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, uh, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. <laughs> well, there's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Doing. What's it look like? You're dropping players. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. Go left here. Got it. Come here. What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. Buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Taurus fed for a week. You want to resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me either. Uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. You gotta take a closer look. No, not this way. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. What did you drown?
Excuse me, what? Hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? <laughs> you think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Now, wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the, it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did it... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. What the hell? Look out! You can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Wait! Come back! God damn it, Skizzo, it's getting away! Shit, get back here! Come on, you shit! Give me back those fucking keys! Where'd you go? Mind out on us. Skizzo, stop shooting. Oh, Skizzo. Skizzo, you're bringing the whole mind down on us. Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rock's at him? supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need a saving. <laughs> Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way.
Soul, you bros off. Tax on. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols, sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the tree. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't wanna be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. So to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Got it. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse so you don't know that. Don't I? Come on. Jesus. Never thought I'd be so glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, Mike, someone's inside. Hey, what the you're hiding out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Find him. Trifter Punch. Submit, sir. My boy's got a little rambunctious. I All right, uh, split up. They're a little jumpy we'll out here, you know? You come got on it. out and talk Watch to me. Watch your back. I'll settle him down. Yeah, don't you come on, we don't need to go on. This is all just a misunderstanding. It is. Uh, hey, you got it. Lay it into him. Go, 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 go. Ah, give it to him. I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. They figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. 
When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizon? Uh, my point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done for your friend. How you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as and the old Mike man, as you... And trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Oh, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, Schizo. I get that. But you remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Let alone make him head of security. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke of St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find him? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got him. Schizo's on his way back with everything we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great. Now, we can't use them till we find some dead corn. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's up. Jesus, what now? You boys trying to shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed, but I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... <sighs> it, it's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take... Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you do? Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when a clan man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. What do you want? You got something to say about it? 